Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, we're doing another full face of first impressions. I've got everything from indie brands, well-known brands, drugstore brands, high-end brands, a whole load of brands. But yeah, today I figured we could just try out a whole load of new products together. I feel like there are so many new launches at the moment and I am loving it. I feel like there was a massive lull with the pandemic where like no one was bringing out stuff. And now that like the floodgates have opened, it's just like new product, new product, new brand, new product. And I love it. It gives me a, it gives me a lot of videos to film. So if you guys like videos like this, if you like first impressions, or if there's anything else you want to see from me, then let me know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, because only half of my viewers are actually subscribed, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, and you'll be notified whenever I up. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I was doing so well, man. I was doing so well. You know what to do if you want to see more videos like this. Subscribe. Notifications on. Thanks very much. Okay, let's get into the video. All right, so before we get into the makeup itself, I'm very excited because Foreo have once again sponsored this portion of the video. So thank you very much Foreo for supporting me and my channel and just thanks. Those of you that have been around for a while, Foreo will not be a new word for you. I've worked with them for years and I've used their products for years as well. Like before I worked with them, I was using their stuff. You can literally scroll back to my oldest videos and number one, you'll be like, who? Who is that girl? And number two, you'll also see these guys cropping up. But yeah, for those of you that don't know about Freo, I will leave all links and everything down below. But basically Freo make some of the coolest skincare gadgets and products in general. One of the products that I used to use years and years ago, like I said, was their Luna Mini. It was like the teeny tiny version of this. Basically, this is the Luna 3 and I use this every day. Ollie uses it every day. I use it with this cleanser here. Another thing some of you guys will have seen, especially on my stories, is the Bear, which I don't have the serum to use right now, but this is basically a microcurrent device, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you can hear it has pulsations, and it sends little microcurrents through your skin to help tighten it. Honestly, freaking obsessed with this thing. I was like, at first, what is it? But I use it all the time. But my favorite product from Freo that again, some of you guys will be very familiar with is their UFO 2. I have the UFO 1 and I have the UFO 2 and I love them. So this little guy here, the UFO 2, literally gives you the most professional salon result at home. That sounds so cliche, but it literally does that. Like, we all know I love my salon treatments. I love to like just pamper myself and I I literally don't go to the salon anymore because I just use this. I get a lot of questions about what the UFO actually is and the best way to describe it is you know all of those fancy machines that like salons and spas have. They do like light therapy. They also do like cryotherapy where it like goes hot, cold, all of that. This does that but like literally in the palm of your hand. And all the devices as well work with your phone over Bluetooth which makes it so, so easy. You can really customize all the different treatments. So as you can see, I just switched this on and I'll show you guys properly in the cutaway when I used it right before this video. But basically you remove the ring and you have these masks here, but you can also use them with any sheet mask, any skincare. It really, really helps to basically make your skincare work extra harder, whether you use the Foreo skincare or your own. And so all you do, like I show in the video, is you take one of the masks or whatever you're using and you pop it on the Freo disc, fix it in place with the little ring, and then you can either use like a default setting just by pressing the button, or you can go onto your phone, and as you might be able to see, I've got all of my different devices up here, so I'm gonna select the UFO 2. So this will then actually connect, as you can see, it's lighting up, it'll connect to the UFO, and it'll tell you everything from like how much battery it has left, then you can basically just go along, select the mask that you wanna use, so I'm using, where is it, the Bulgarian Rose one, which is this one, it's really good for hydrating, and you Secure just press start. The UFO activated mask to your device by clipping the attachment ring into place with the 4O logo facing up. Can we get a name for this lady actually? I've I've spoken and listened to this lady so many times. So guys, can you please name her in the comments just from her voice? But yeah, she's basically telling you what to do with the sheet mask and then use a circular motion. It just goes to the treatment. And UFO I'm going to turn this woman down. Thank you. So that sounds like a different woman. But yeah, Obviously you have the mask on normally, but this will pulsate, it will heat up, it will use cryotherapy so it will help cool down your skin. You can change all the different settings. You can select which mask you're using and they've got a bunch of different masks there. You can change everything from the cooling limit, the heating limit, and then it's also got a smart control option so you can change all the different lights. Like I'll try and show you guys at the same time, but let's do like a bluey color darker blues. Like you can fully customize everything. You can change the color of the light. You can change the pulsations. You can change the temperature. So you could have it cool, hot or off. 
And this will honestly give you a salon facial, like a full on salon treatment with all the lights, the cryotherapy, whatever, in two minutes. And you can use it multiple times. I usually tend to just so I can get my money's worth. But it's literally the quickest thing and you notice your skin looking so, so glowy instantly. Hopefully you guys will be able to see in the cutaway. It's definitely a very luxury product, but it's the sort of thing that if you like to go and get facials anyway, if you're spending loads of money on facials, on treatments, different devices, whatever, this honestly does everything in one go and you don't need to go and spend money on facials. So yeah, the UFO2 is just great at doing everything from depuffing, tightening, helping to get rid of acne. And yeah, like I said again, regardless of what skincare you're using at the moment, using this with whatever you're using right now will really enhance those ingredients. It's just a really, really great product. I know I work with Rare quite often, but that's because I genuinely do believe in all their products. Like I use them all the time. So if you guys wanna try them out for yourself, then I will leave a link down below. Check it out, they're great, and let me know what you think the Freya woman should be called. Freya? Try and beat Freya, okay? All right, guys, that is it for my little spiel for today's video. Thank you once again to Freya for sponsoring this video, and thank you if you sat around for the ad. So now, let's get some makeup on this face. I'm excited for this. Okay, so I'm actually gonna start off with eyes today and the palette that I'm using, I have been dying to use for the longest time and I hate that it's taken me this long to use it. It's from Lois, Lois Cosmetics and this palette sold out so many times. It's the Meet Me in the Underworld palette and I've gotta say, Lois is like a one man band and she is smashing it. Like imagine, imagine making a whole ass palette and like, that's not all she does either. I've tried loads of her products and I love them. But yeah, look at these colors. Like, are you serious? Look at that. It's actually the perfect palette. Like, it wasn't meant for this, but it's the perfect palette for Halloween and like Christmas because you've got all the warm tones and then you've got all the greens and like, mm. So yeah, today I'm gonna do something smoky. I want to use a lot of this shade here, Underworld. I want to be like chucking that all over my face. That's why I'm doing my eyes first as well. My P. Louise base ain't looking too healthy right now. It's got like goopy bits of oil coming out. Like, what is that? What, hello? I'm still gonna use it though. Like, I'm still gonna use it. So I think my general idea is I'm gonna be using some of these shades, the warmer tones in my crease, smashing a whole load of the black all over my lid, maybe with a little bit of green as well. I might do some green on the inner corner. I might do some green on the inner corner. And then chucking one of the shimmers over the top as well. That's what we're doing today. But yeah, I'm so excited to try this palette. Don't mind me, I'm just lagging all of this all over my face. I'm bringing it right there. Okay, okay, this is an interesting look. Hello, uh, let's, let's just do this. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with the shade Myth and I'm just gonna tap my brush. And I'm gonna pop that straight in the crease, just so I've got a little transition going on. Can you guys let me know in the comment section what your favorite like indie brands or smaller businesses you guys like? Was that even a sentence? That wasn't a sentence, but let me know your favorite indie brands, please. Because I really wanna try out more indie brands. Okay, that's actually blending out so freaking nice. It's like I'm using the tiniest amount, but I find sometimes eyeshadows can be pigmented, but they overblend. Like they end up just like, they just keep going. Whereas this is just kind of staying where I put it. I'm then gonna take a little bit of Melody and Myth, cause I want like just a bit more warmth and blend that in there just a touch. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted actually. I don't wanna go too winged out because I tend to do that quite often. I wanna try and be a bit more like, keep it to your eyeball today, Steph. You don't need to like draw all over your temples. So now I'm going straight in with Underworld. I am, I'm just gonna see how intense this black is. I feel like Lois wouldn't do a black eyeshadow unless she absolutely smashed it. So I'm just gonna plonk that all over my lid. Oh. Oh, Lois, Lois, what have you done? That is such an intense black eyeshadow. Oh my God. I find normally I have to use like a black eyeshadow primer to even get any kind of coverage like this, but this is literally like opaque. Lois, Lois. I'm literally tapping it as well. Oh my God. I mean, this isn't necessarily a look right now, but Oh my God. Oh, you're, you're a smart girl, Lois. 
So now I'm going to go in with the shade Hades and I'm going to overlap that just to start blending that out. Lois, mate, you've smashed this. I already just know you have smashed this. Now I'm going to go back in with the mix of Myth and Melody and then blow that out even more. Lois, you're an absolute dream. Oh my God, this is... <sighs> Lois, yes. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that for a second with that because I'm gonna be cleaning up everything in a bit anyway. Obviously doing my under eyes and stuff. So I will be like, probably blending everything out a bit more. Now I'm gonna go in with this name that I can't say. Your dice, your, your... If I heard it out loud, I'd probably be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I'm gonna blend that onto my brow bone. Okay, so now we've got to get a little bit of shimmer up in here. I feel like we need a bit. Enchanted, I think I'm going to put on the inner corner. No, I'm not. I'm going to put Enchanted all over my lid right now. So I'm using a brush that actually had a bit of concealer on like two days ago. But I'm going to use that for a little bit of tackiness. I can't stress to you either how lightly I'm tapping this. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, I love it. Okay guys, I'm gonna do this on the other eye and then I will check back with you guys and we'll do the face and I don't know really, I don't know what order I'm gonna be doing this makeup in, but we'll just, we'll continue, okay? Boom. All right guys, obsessed with this eye. So now I'm gonna go in with the Iconic London Radiance Booster that you can apparently use. It says it's a unique tinted complexion enhancer, but you can use it as a primer on its own, whatever you kind of want to do. So I'm using it in the shade Sand Glow. Looks like this. Oh, actually, kind of looks... <laughs> don't know why I did that. Actually, does look quite tinted, like more tinted than I thought it was gonna be. Am I mad about that? No. Guys, look at how cute this teeny tiny little mirror is that Benefit gave me. Look how freaking cute that is. Yeah, I'm gonna blend that all over my skin. Oh, this is quite nice. Hang on, this has way more of a tint than I thought it was going to, but it's really, really nice. Yeah, you could 100% wear this on its own, like without any powder or anything like that. This is just something that you could just chuck on. And it does just kind of, it just evens your skin out, makes it look nice and glowy. They obviously do a bunch of different colors as well, but this is really, really nice. I am just kind of slapping it on my skin right now, just because I'll say I'm gonna be using this as a primer and putting foundation over the top. But yeah, I really, really like that. I like that more than I thought I was going to. I thought it was just gonna kind of be like a shimmery primer, but I really love that. I don't know what else to tell you. So now for foundation, I have this very, very bougie one from Rodial. This retails for 45 pounds normally, but I got it from TK Maxx. It's like my second home. And I got this for 14.99. So I have this in the shade Toffee. It's in number 60 and looks like this. Hopefully it's gonna be a decent color. So I'm gonna pop this all over my skin. And this says that it's a hydrating high comfort foundation, a velvet feel and satin finish. Medium buildable coverage. Sounds great. Sounds fabulous. Oh, I feel like it kind of smells like coconutty a little bit, maybe. I might be imagining that, but. Okay, it maybe looks a little bit more peachy than I am right now, but I feel like it'd be fine once we figure it out. Let me just do the turtle face. I feel like that's giving me nice coverage there. It's like not too much. Yeah, this smells like something, but it's quite nice, quite faint. It's very, very liquidy, which I actually really, really like. It's like quite a thin consistency. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of thinking, for no real reason, I was kind of thinking this maybe wouldn't be it. Like, I don't know, I haven't really heard too many people talk about it, and any time I have heard people talk about it, it's been sponsored, so I didn't really have many expectations at all, but this actually looks really freaking nice. I definitely wanna powder it down. It's very, very, very shiny and oily looking, but I feel like it looks really good on the skin. If this looks good with powder, I'm gonna eat my words. So before we go in with powder, I just happened to stumble across the concealer as well from Rodial. This is the Diamond Concealer and it's in the shade 20. So there's neutralize, imperfections and fatigue. Yes, 
please, especially so that second one. I tried a bunch of products from Rodeo ages ago and I have actually got, I've lost it. It's somewhere on my desk, but you you know I lose everything. But I'm actually filming a video with James Welsh in a bit. We're doing like a socially distanced collab. And I'm trying out the powder that they recently brought out. I think it's been around for a little while, but yeah, stay tuned for that. I think it's, I think he's posting it this weekend. So you might see a familiar face there. Let me know if you want me to do any other videos with James. It's quite difficult to see how this foundation and base looks right now, just because it's so shiny that I have no idea really, but I feel like it's given me a nice bit of coverage. Feels quite lightweight. But yeah, it's like one of those things that I feel like because it's so oily, like I don't know how this looks right now, do you? It's just, it's really, really shiny. And I can tell you the coverage is nice. I can tell you it feels quite nice on my skin and the colors a pretty decent match, but we need to kind of wait to see how it looks in a second. So enough for powder. I'm gonna go in with one of the new glowish uh, luminous press powders. So they sent over a few different colors. I think I'm gonna go for light medium. That sounds about right. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I would say, I say it's a pretty decent match. So usually the way it works with pressed powders, they normally are, especially when they're tinted, they're normally a lot more pigmented. So I'm gonna go in with a very, very light hand and see how this works. Oh my God, hello airbrush. I know this is like, this is a decent part of my skin anyway. Like this is a pretty, you know, flat area, but I love how that looks. Oh my God, I actually love that. What the hell? That has fully airbrushed my skin there. Okay. Okay. I wonder if at any point, the same way that I'm like kind of liking blush now, I wonder if there'll ever be a point where I'm like really, really into pressed powders. Cause I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I have a very strong hatred for powders in general, but pressed powders in particular. So like, do you guys feel the same way as me? Do you like loose powders over pressed powders? I don't know, I feel like pressed powders. I'm just like heavy, cakey, but this one actually looks pretty good. I'm kind of ignoring this part of my lip here because I don't think anything that I put on my face right now is gonna make this look good. So I think I'm just gonna either have to accept this spot, the scabby spot thing being visible, or I'm gonna have to cover it up and make it look a little bit chunky. I'm actually really, really loving this. It still looks really, really glowy like the foundation does on my skin, but it's like the nice kind of glow. It doesn't look shiny. It doesn't look like I need to add more powder or anything. Oh, I am so interested in this. Bit wary about going on the old under eyes, but you know, what doesn't kill you makes you have really, really flawless under eyes. This powder is actually freaking great. I need to try out the, I'm gonna try out um, the Rodeo foundation with another powder. And then I'm also gonna try it out with the Rodeo powder as well. Like I'm very, very curious because I wanna know what it's like. Like, is it the powder making it this look this good? Is it the foundation? Is it a combination of the two? I wanna know. I'm looking a little bit dry around my nose here, but I wasn't loving how my skin looked before, like pre-foundation. I felt like my skin needed a little bit of extra help today and I felt like that is kind of doing it. I love this. I love the foundation. Oh my God. So now for bronzer, I think I have like crusty stuff all over my lips, but it's fine, we're friends. For bronzer, I have this massive box from Spectrum. This is the Sun Bounce Modern Matte Bronzer. Oh, I was like, this is a huge bronzer. It comes with a little brush. Packaging is cute. Packaging is really, really nice actually. I remember when Spectrum first came out, but they have like, goodbye. They have leveled up. That looks like a stunning bronzer. Oh my God. I love it when I do a first impressions and it all just seems to work. I'm like, oh my God, thank God, an easy video. So I'm gonna pop that right on the tops of my cheeks. I'm just using this brush from, who's it from again? Uh, backstage, it's the Angled Powder. Some of you guys will have seen, if you watch my vlog, that I have something very fun coming up. And by the time this video goes live, let me just check. It'll be about two weeks until you'll know what it is. And I hate that I am that person now, that YouTuber that's like, You'll find out soon, but oh my God, I wish I could tell you all. I'm so excited. I know some of you have been asking about it. Two weeks, like I think like two weeks and one day by the time this video goes up, it's coming so quick. That's what she said. This bronzer is stunning. This bronzer is stunning. 
So now for highlighter, I have the Polar Vortex ones from Be Perfect. I have two different shades. I've got Ice Queen and Atmosphere. Let's see what Ice Queen is. The packaging is huge. Oh my God. Oh my God. Little swatchy swatch. Beautiful, quite rose goldy. Oh my God. I'm sorry that I'm, I don't know why I'm apologizing that I'm so excited because I had like a year and a half of me just being like, everything is just no. But now I'm so excited just to, Put all this makeup on my freaking face. Give me a break. I almost like want to hate something because I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm so like ooh, positive that it almost seems faked, but oh my God. Genuinely, probably one of the nicest highlighters I've tried out in a really, really long time. It's so pigmented, so don't take too much or actually just take as much as you want. Genuinely one of the nice highlighters I've tried in God knows how long. Milk and cookies who? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kind of kidding. It's still a sore spot guys. That's actually stunning. Get this highlighter. Get this freaking highlighter, oh my God. I'm just gonna blend that out a touch more. I'm very cautious of the time. I've got half an hour until my Zoom call. Do we think I'll be able to do, I think I'll be able to do it, I think I will. So now for blusher, like I said, I have this one from Glowish. This is in the shade Healthy Peach. That's, to be honest, what I aspire to be. I aspire to be healthy, I aspire to be peachy. So this is what the blusher looks like. Looks really, really pretty. Has a similar kind of like marbled effect as the bronzer. So I'm gonna take a touch of that and put that right in between the highlighter and the bronzer. I'm using the same brush as my bronzer as well. I like to do that. I feel like it just meshes everything together nicely. Like I don't, I can't be bothered to use 50 different brushes for my one face. If I can do my base makeup with like three brushes, you know I'm gonna do that. You know I'm not gonna sit there and wash every single brush. <laughs> you, we know that, right? Like we all know I cannot be bothered. So if I can use one brush, I'm gonna use one brush. Guys, it's really, really pretty. This video's going so well. Oh my God, that's actually so pretty. With the highlighter, with the bronzer. For my setting spray today, I'm going in with one of my faves, but this is a slight variation on it. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow. I didn't even know that they did this. I literally swear by the Urban Decay All Nighter. It is the best setting spray I have ever tried and probably will ever try, but Ultra Glow. I'm like, okay, I'm intrigued. Is it like, is it a pigment in there? Is it just generally more of a glowy formula? I feel like it smells kind of similar to the original. Set in place. I'm not gonna do too much because I don't know how glowy it is. The bottle's cute. I prefer this bottle. But yeah, let's see how that looks in a second. Now for my brows. I've already used this in the actual video that I hauled it, I think. Um, but this is the Got To Be Brow, what is it called? Got To Be Glued for Brows and Edges Gel. I used it just to get rid of a couple of my baby hairs in a video, but now I'm gonna try it out as my brow gel. I love that Got To Be saw their opportunity and just went for it. Like, kudos to them. I'm gonna get rid of quite a bit of the product on the back of my hand. When I tried it on my baby hairs, it fully stuck them down. So, yeah, I've got high hopes. The spoolie's nice as well. I know that sounds like the most basic thing to mention, but a lot of the time you could have a good product, but the spoolie just does nothing. But this is actually brushing through my brows quite well, and we all know my brows are like, my brows are just, a tangle, they're just a knot basically. I've literally had eyebrow hairs knotted together. I've had some of my eyelashes and my eyebrows knot together after a really, really good nap. I feel like I would probably put this on before I did my foundation next time, just because it's, especially because it's new, there's quite a lot of product there. So it is like, there's a lot of excess product that I am gonna have to just wipe away a little bit. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. So now for my mascara today, I'm also gonna be using another product from Spectrum. This is the Dark Matter Black Mascara. So, okay, it's a nice plastic wand. Hopefully you can see that there. I'm just gonna put some mascara on first because I wanna see how much more I wanna smoke this out. It's defining them nicely. It's really nice to comb my lashes through with. That might sound, oh, my earring's about to like flop off. And I'm gonna run a little bit on my lower lash line, just in the outer corner mostly. I feel like I maybe need a little bit more powder after that setting spray. 
because that is hella glowy. I like how it looks in person on camera. I'm like, I mean, some of you are probably getting blinded by this light square on my forehead. Okay, mascara done. Very nice mascara. Like it's, it's doing what it needs to do. I have no complaints. I'm not like, oh my God, best mascara ever, but there's nothing bad about it. It's it's a nice mascara, it grabs your lashes, seems like a really black formula. Um, so if it lasts well, and if it doesn't like fall down around my eyes or anything, then that's nice. So now for my lips, I'm gonna go in with this lip liner here from the brand, Emoline. It's a velvet longwear lip definer. Um, the brand's apparently UK based. This one's in the shade Lyra, I think. But it seems like quite a nice, kind of peachy nude there. So I'm just gonna line my lips with that. Very, very creamy. That applied nicely. I mean, I think this is quite an expensive brand from what I remember. It's a really easy to apply lip liner. Like very, very creamy. It doesn't wear down too quickly either. Colors pigmented. And then for my lipstick today, I'm really excited for this. I got this from Gosh and it's in the shade Nug Nougat. I almost said nugget then. I uh, just got chicken nuggets on the brain, but this is in the number 011. And I swatched this and it looked really, really nice. It's like the most perfect kind of cool neutral tone nudes. And I actually got this on offer. It was like, like half price or something. It smells really good. It's actually a pretty good match for the lip liner as well. Normally I would wear a slightly darker lip liner, but actually just doing it all one color actually does look quite nice. I don't know what's going on with Gosh because loads of their stuff was on offer the other day. So I hope they're not going anywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna put my hair down. Let's ignore it for a minute. Let's just ignore the hair. So now I'm just gonna quickly go over everything and just blend the eye look out a touch more. Lois, honestly, this palette is sick. Guys, go check out Lois Cosmetics. Like I said, I've tried out, I'm pretty sure I've tried out all of her products. I wanna say I have, or at least like everything bar like one product or something and everything is so, so good. Go and show Lois some love. She works her ass off and yeah, she, oh, oh, I'm joined by Michael. Hello, nubby. What is this? What is this little nubby? Can you see the nub? Oh, you can see the nub. Everyone always asks where Michael's tail's gone. So if you're new here, no, we did not abuse this poor boy. He's a Manx cat, so he's weird. So he was born like that. He's just a bit strange. He's my baby and he wants food. Can I dance? Yeah, he's a Manx cat. Everyone always asks that. They're like, what happened to his tail? I'm like, he was born. That's what happened. How many more times can I say it before I start to annoy you? I love this eyeshadow. So now what I really, really want to do here is take the shade Nymph, this green, and I feel like I'm gonna add a bit of highlights to it as well. Making sure that I tap this off, I don't want any fallout. And how can I do this so that I can see and you guys can see? Hello, pigment. Whoa, I literally only need the tiniest amount of that. So I'm just putting that in my inner corner. And then gonna take a bit of Enchanted, which is a color that I had right on my lid switch it up a bit. And then I'm going in with this shade that I can't say, I don't know, someone's gonna tell me in the comments, I'm sure. I'll probably get a message from Lois. She'd be like, Steph, it was this. I'd be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna basically pat that right over the top to really lighten all of it, using like a big fluffy brush. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more blush because I feel like my face could do with a bit more color. Probably add a tiny little bit more setting powder, like around the center of my face, and I'm gonna pop on some lashes. I don't know where I put them, but I'll show you guys in the cutaway which ones I'm using. And yeah, then I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay. All right guys, so I popped on some lashes. This is the finished look. I'm obsessed with it. I'm absolutely obsessed with the base, the highlighter, the eyeshadow, everything. I put on, what lashes were they? I don't know if I have the box. I use them, they're the Kiss My Lash But Better. I'll leave a link to them down below. But yeah, I just cut them into like three quarter length lashes like I always do and just pop them on there. And I'm obsessed with how this look turned out. I'm gutted, I don't have anywhere to go. Like, should I just like walk to the shop or something? Because I need 
I, I need to take a hell of a nice Instagram picture for this because I'm obsessed with this makeup. I think it's safe to say I have a lot of faves today, but my top three products would have to be the highlighter, obsessed with it, the palette, oh my God, where even is it? Lois's palette, get it? It's so freaking nice. And then my third favorite would probably actually have to be, I wanna say like either the foundation or the powder, really into those but I also like the brow gel. I like so many things. Uh, I like the bronzer. I like so many things. I, I don't think I actually disliked anything. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. Obviously, if you wanted to do this a little bit more Halloween-y, you could do a darker lip. You could add a little bit more of like a graphic liner or something. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this look. It's like a nice vampy, but also very much kind of wearable look. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. And as always, all products to everything, including Freo, will be linked down below. So yeah, make sure you check them out. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications because it really, really does mean a lot to me. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Honestly, I am gutted. I don't have anywhere to wear this makeup. I bet the selfie's not even gonna be that good as well. Like, I bet how happy I am with this makeup. I'm not even gonna like the pictures. Um, Bad Girls Club. This is from Motel, by the way. I'll try and remember to leave a link to that down below as well. But uh, yeah, I need, I need to make sure I take a good pic of this. I do, so okay, I'm gonna go do that. And have a good day, love you, bye.